So these dosage calculations are considered standalone fill in the blank questions. And the questions that I selected are right from our question bank that we have on NCLEX Bootcamp. So we will solve each one with dimensional analysis and ratio proportion just to break down the steps. So reading this question, the nurse is caring for a client taking acetaminophen 2,600 milligrams per day in four divided doses. The nurse reviews the medication. How many tablets per dose does a nurse expect to administer? And we're going to record our answer using a whole number. So after reading this, we can see we have our rounding rule, which is we're going to a whole number. And we can also look to the right of the answer blank to see what we're trying to solve for, which here is tablets. All right, so let's apply everything we've learned in our next step here. All right, so what do we have? What do we know in this problem? We have this medication label, right? And we're given information within the problem. So we have this um, tablet of acetaminophen in our hand or the label, and we see that we have our medication concentration is 325 milligrams per tab. We see that our ordered dose here is 2,600 milligrams per day, and that we are giving this in four divided doses. So now when we look at this equation, the next step we'll see is what we're trying to solve for. So let's look at our next step. So here we see, what are we trying to do? What are we trying to figure out? And we are trying to solve for our tablet. So we wanna know how many tabs per dose we are gonna give, right? So now we have some things that are given, we have all this information and we can start plugging it in. So we're gonna set up our middle. Um, so when we set up our middle, what do we set up on the left? Do you guys remember? On the left we put something that's known, right? And on the right side we're gonna put what we're trying to get to. So on the right side we'll see we are trying to get our tabs per dose and on our left side, we can take any of our given information here, so like our 2,600 milligrams per day, and then we'll plug in the middle next. So let's get to our middle. All right, so I'm gonna check these off because I have already plugged them in and don't wanna re-plug them in. So next I can put my four doses per day. So where would I put day? Would I put day on the top here or day on the bottom? Remember that we need days to cancel out because we are not finding per day over here. We're gonna put per day up top and four doses down below. And that's because we have day down here and that will cancel off. So here, if we were to solve, we would be left with milligrams per dose, which is not quite what we're looking for, right? We're trying to get to this tabs per dose. So I'm gonna check that off that I've plugged it in and go to my last piece here, which is our 325 milligrams per tab. And I will plug that in. So here I need my milligrams to be on the top or the bottom. Do we need our milligrams to cancel? We see that we need tablets per dose. So I will put my 325 milligrams on the bottom and my tab on top. So by doing this, my milligrams cancel, and you see that we're left with tabs per dose, which is exactly what we're trying to find here. All right, so now that we've set up our middle, we can go ahead and multiply across. So here we have 2,600 times one times one. We have easy math, sorry, that's nice, 2,600. And then down here we do our one times our four times our 325. And what did you guys get? We get 1,300, so we have 2,600 divided by 1,300. So now we can do our division step. So what do you get? 2,600 divided by 13, and we're gonna be left with two tabs per dose, right? So the last step that we have to do is always verify, right? We have to make sure that our math made sense and that everything we're doing, we're giving the correct dose. So I like to think of it as you're not getting some crazy number like 2.3, right? Or you're not giving your client 15 tablets. Um, so I think of it like that. You also, we plug the numbers back in. We also wanna make sure that the number we got, um, if you were to plug it back in, that it all equals out. And two tabs per dose is our whole number. We said we were to verify, or we were to round to the whole number. We have no rounding that's necessary here. We have that whole number. So we are good with our two and we see that we're correct.